Hey yo, it's Leno and welcome back to another episode of Soli Survival. In last episode, we made this whole enchanting library type thing here, and I'm still not entirely happy with how it turned out, but it's still a build that we can improve on nonetheless. And then I landscaped all of this, and all in all, this whole area just looks really, really cool. Now, the whole point of me making that build in last episode was simply for the fact of, well, getting enchantments. I am kind of tired of running around without any enchantments. So the goal in today's episode is to get set up with that. So as you can probably tell from the few clips there at the beginning, I've started kind of farming and expanding the sugar cane that I've had growing out here. And then I am breeding up some of the cows that I have got back in there. Oh, yep. I also have the zoom mod back now, which is awesome. And I'm just really trying to get more paper and more leather for the, uh, well, the books to make the bookshelf, so this way I can get the level 30 enchantments and whatnot. So that is kind of the goal for today. I want to get that going, and I want to kind of play around a little bit more with some of the uh, 121 stuff. We might go hunting for some of the new wolves, and if not, then we might go to a, a trail ruin or trial chamber. Trial chamber, that's what it is. Yeah, we might go to one of those things. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So that's kind of the plan for today. Just kind of starting out with the enchantment table and then seeing where things go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and spend a little bit of time kind of breeding up some of the uh, the cows and getting some things together. And yeah, I, uh, I will see you guys here in a bit. Okay, you know what? I actually have a different idea in mind. So since I'm going to need sugar cane anyway, and I'm definitely going to need more in the future whenever we get around to getting wings and stuff. Again, that's not going to be anytime soon right now I want to take things slowly but since I'm going to need all of that going forward for books bookshelves and really anything that requires paper or sugar or anything else I might as well go ahead and make a sugarcane farm instead of leaving this mess out here now I'm not going to take this mess down just yet because this is going to help speed up the process for today so what I am currently thinking is in this here building I can actually make a basement floor and I can probably dig out quite a large area down there for a pretty significant sized uh, sugarcane farm. I didn't really want to make one of those just yet, but I figure I'm going to need it, so I might as well go ahead and make it now. And I can hide it underneath this floor here and make like just this giant basement area. And obviously I'm going to decorate it. And once I get that going, then I can worry about decorating all of this stuff because I want every interior done. And no, I have not forgotten about the interior of the tower over there. I just have not had any inspiration for that. But yeah, I can go ahead and get the interior started in here and up there and get the enchantment stuff put in. But I figure while I'm waiting on this to grow and I'm breeding cows uh, just all in the meantime, I can go ahead and actually start digging this out and making an actual sugarcane farm down below. So that's gonna be where I turn to now. Okay, I know I just said that I could make a basement in there, and technically I guess this is still the same sort of idea. But what I'm thinking is, around back, there's not really anything happening. What I can do is I can dig out this area here, and then make a little doorway underneath here, and make like a little cellar entrance almost, and make a sugarcane farm out of that, and just have the storage be, well, in inside of like a storage cellar down underneath it. I don't really think that's logical for a library. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I, I don't really know. But I think, all in all, it's kind of a cool idea. It's something I've never done before, so that's what we're doing. So what I'm thinking is we can go ahead and start by making just a little pathway like this leading back. And I'm probably gonna put the door down in the center of this. And I'm probably just gonna dig back about this far. I think this should be good. And then I can make the staircase leading down. Uh, well, that might not work. Okay, let me let me tinker with this for a second. Okay, so what I am currently thinking is that I can make the staircase go down this direction, and then there'll be like another step right here, and then the doorway is going to go right in here, and then I'm going to put the cellar just directly underneath here. But underneath the cellar will probably end up being the farm itself. Not entirely sure how I'm going to make that work, but I am going to make that work. By the way, if you haven't picked up on the vibe, I am trying to actually take you with me on the journey of me figuring out what I am doing and showing you what I'm thinking as I'm doing it rather than just building and then showing. I, I kind of want you guys to experience this with me. So that's what we're doing. Um, just trying it out. 
you're going to see a little bit of a shift maybe in how I'm producing some of the content because I do want to bring you guys along more often on these journeys rather than just me building and showing. I think it's a little bit more interesting that way. So yeah, that's kind of what we're going for here right now. We're going to figure it out. I'm, I'm still learning all of this, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, so this is kind of the vibe right now, and I'm not sure just how I'm going to decorate all this yet. I actually think I'm going to tie in some of the deep slate over here, or maybe more of the tough. I don't know. Let me go grab some blocks and we'll find out. So hear me out. All right. I changed out those walls for the cobbled deep slate, and I thought I was going to do the tough at first, but I think the deep slate makes sense because it ties in with that area there, that bottom lip from the actual build itself. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to detail this wall just to kind of make this not stick out like a sore thumb, I guess. But that's something I can come back to. So what I'm thinking is that I can make it lead down here. Got these cobbled deep slate walls. And then right here, I'm going to have the entryway. And you go in and then there's the room back there. Like, uh, well, like planned, I guess. I'm thinking it makes more sense for it to be right here. Just not too low from the actual build itself but then again i'm probably overthinking a lot of this so yeah i need to go and get more spruce and i need to get some stuff to kind of texture this area here and uh or well actually change this area in general not texture it but uh yeah so this is kind of what i am going with for the moment i'm not entirely sold on the idea this all might come down and this all might get cut out of the video Okay, I've got something that I'm kind of happy with now. I'm perfectly okay with this design. I've seen Millie from the Craftwork server do this before. And so I kind of took this idea from her and I basically made this little entryway on the back of the build and I made this little cellar leading down here. Now this is a little annoying because you have to flick up all three of these to get down there. And then whenever you get ready to come back up, you know, you have to close them all back down and you know, if you are down here and you're, for whatever reason, running up here, you have to remember to open all of them. It's a whole thing. But this is probably one of the better designs that I have seen. I couldn't really find a whole lot of reference images online of a decent looking seller like this. So I just, I kind of went with one that I seen Millie do. So thank you, Millie, for the design. I just changed it up to fit the style of this build with all of the new tough. And then I've got the spruce here. And then when you come down here, you can see that I have not dug the rest of this out. I added in this uh, little thing here for lights, and that's really all I've done. So I need to actually dig out a room. I'm not sure how big of a cellar I want it to be. I want there to be enough room for storage, but all in all, I don't really think it needs to be super, super big. The uh, The bigger part of this is gonna end up being the, um, the actual sugarcane farm, which will be further underground anyway. So yeah, that's really where I sit right now. I'm actually kind of happy with this. I think it looks cool and it makes the, the back of the build look a little bit more uh, natural. Natural? I don't think that's the right word. I don't know, but it gives it a little bit more something to look at, I guess. So I'm actually kind of happy with this. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and start digging out a little space back here to start a cellar. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to make the cellar kind of face the same direction as the build itself. So as I'm digging this out, I'm probably going to just go so far over. So let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's probably good right there. And then I'm going to make this basically extend the length of the build itself. And yeah, that's that's what we're working with. All right, I've got some more work done on this area. And first and foremost, I actually had to dig this out even further down because I realized that for the height of the room that I wanted originally, I would have been digging up right into the floor of the library itself. And that's not what I wanted to do. So what I did was I dug further down and then I went ahead and I dug this room out and I'm thinking I still might make it just a little bit bigger. But what I'm thinking is I want to follow a pretty similar palette to what I've got going out here with the tough and the spruce. And I even mixed in some dark oak behind this. But what I am thinking is because this is underground, this would make more sense for most of this stuff to be stone anyway. So I'm going to make it all the, the tough and then have these spruce pillars probably, let's see, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, well then I'd have to expand that out just a little bit. 
but you kind of get the idea here. So this way, we have some kind of texture and depth in these walls. There's going to be tough behind there. And then I'm thinking of even kind of bridging over this way, like this. And then grabbing some of these stairs and then putting them in like this. Okay, I feel like I'm going to need to raise the room just a little bit. I'm going to tinker with this idea for a little bit and I will show you guys what I come up with. All right, much more planning later and I have got this room kind of figured out now. So what I decided to do was to put mangrove in where the uh, the ceiling is just so it'll make sense because it's supposed to look like it is underneath the uh, the actual build and unfortunately it's not. It's a uh, it's a little ways away from there, but it's supposed to look like it is underneath the actual build with the mangrove floors. So I put that as the ceiling and then I put these oak planks here in the floor, which honestly, I've not really used hardly any oak this season. So this was kind of different for me, I guess. And then I put in all of the tough. I need to actually texture these walls a little bit, but I put it in here and then I've added these little arches in between each of the areas. And what I'm envisioning is that I'm going to put in a bunch of barrels and random storage throughout the room things like that then maybe like right here a little table for a crafting setup and you know whatever and then what i'm thinking is behind one of these walls i'm going to make another little way down to where i'm going to set up a sugarcane farm and i figure if i'm going to set up a sugarcane farm that i might want to go ahead and set up a bamboo farm to go with it it's not gonna be anything fancy it's not gonna be like one of those uh like flying machine ones or anything like that it's gonna be one of the standard piston ones and it's not gonna be like anything just super fancy or super quick but just something that'll be running while i'm in the area so i'm not going to complain about that so what i'm thinking is probably behind here or here i'm going to make just like a little ladder leading down i don't want to do any more of these little staircases going around so i'm thinking i'm just going to do that where i might just put it up here against the wall i don't know we'll see and then i'm thinking once i get down there that i'm going to set all of it up and then i'm going to set the collection chest to be right here in this wall and I'm just gonna have basically a water tube feeding all of the drops up here and into this and then set that up. Or I might make a trip to the nether and I might get some stuff to make some basic redstone components and make like an item sorter up here. So this way, if bamboo comes up, it sorts into one area. And if I have sugar cane come up in one area, it'll sort into another, things like that. Something super simple, but still a little out of my way. And while I've been doing this, I have been uh, letting the sugarcane all the way over there grow. I actually just harvested a couple of minutes ago, and I've been breeding up the cows a little bit more over there as well. So this way I do have that going in the background, getting ready for the actual bookcases and bookshelves, because why not? So the, the actual goal, I think, for this episode is just going to be getting the enchantment setup put in and then getting most of this build pretty well decorated. I think I want to go ahead and just get all of this decorated and get this all done and out of the way. This is two episodes now we've spent building out this, uh, this building. I do want to get that going. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start digging out yet another room down here below this one for a massive sugarcane farm. And yeah, I will see you guys here in just a little bit. You know what, before we do that, we should probably see if we can at least get enough stuff together for the enchantment table. So this way, I can kind of dig that room out and not worry about breaking so many iron picks or iron shovels or anything else for that matter. I've actually already harvested the sugar cane out here once, pretty much fully grown, and I've got all of it back here in this chest, and honestly, I'm sure that's enough for the enchantment setup on its own. But in here, I've continued to breed the cows, as you can hear. I've, I've bred pretty much all of these animals a little bit, minus the, uh, the pigs. But yeah, so I've been breeding them up. I actually just bred them before I hit the record button over here. So they, uh, they're they not ready to breed again. But there should be plenty in here for me to at least get enough leather to make the enchantment set up. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking care of that. And hopefully... Just hopefully we can get enough to get this going. 15 leather and 31 raw beef later, and I think I actually have enough to finish off an enchantment setup. So I have made bookshelves earlier, and I have, I think, maybe eight left down here in storage, if I'm not mistaken. It's somewhere around there. And I got a little bit of leather still in here, so that should help. So we've got a total of 19. 
And I've got 12 bookshelves. Okay, yes. Yeah. So see, I'm going to have enough to get this set up. Uh, where do I have my obsidian? Right there. Is that enough? I don't actually remember. I don't even want those right now. Um, yeah, I think I've got everything. Let me get back over there. All right, we are back over here now. And like I said, I have my sugar cane in here. So we can go on ahead and a bunch of paper. And I can go ahead and make a bunch of books. And then I've got a bunch of wood in here somewhere. So I can go on ahead and make these bookshelves, which means that I have more than enough. And then there's an enchantment table right there. And that is great news because that means we can go on ahead and start enchanting. I am just going to place it down right here on the bottom floor for the time being because, uh, well, I've got no idea on how I want to decorate any of this right now. So we're just going to roll with it, I guess. All right, let's see. Made that much. Let's just do this. There we go. Should be good. Okay, now let's see. Silk touch. Okay, look at that. So we've got our level 30 enchantments right there. I'm going to go ahead and get that. And this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect for a first pick. I'm not going to complain about that. This is a looting three. Are you kidding me right now? With knockback to... Uh, you know what? I'll take it. I will take that. And then I left my armor somewhere. I just now realized that. Hold on just a second. All right, I've got my armor now. Let's see what I can put on it. So unbreaking. Horns. Unbreaking. Protection. Okay, we're going to start with protection. And that's kind of lame. That's all we got. Fire protection. Fire protection. Protection four. Okay, well, I need levels again. And I probably should have put a grindstone in here. I'm going to put all this back on for the time being. And I'm going to just store all of this here for right now. And I'm going to go get levels. All right, so this room is dug out. And what I am thinking is I'm going to stack some of these sugarcane farms on top of each other up here. So this way there's plenty being made in here and then it's all going to flow down one water path and on down to the center where they all get collected and they all go up one water chute into a chest upstairs and that's kind of the vision right now the issue is in order to make that kind of farm i need observers and pistons now pistons that's the easy part i can handle that the hard part is well to make the observers i need quartz and well Quartz means I've got to go back to the nether, and I am not really looking forward to that, but I guess that's something that I've got to do. So yeah, I'm going to get stocked up on more food, drop off a lot of the, uh, the excess materials that I've got in here, and I think we're just going to head right in, grab what we need, and get out. All right, we've got plenty to get started with. Let's get back over there and get started with this sugarcane farm. All right, so back down here now, and what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put the drop-off chest like right here against this wall, just so whenever I'm in the neighborhood and I need items, I can just come down here, look right here, grab what I need, and get back out. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put the chest system right here inside the wall. Do I have chests? Yes, I do, okay. So you can also see my inventory. I went ahead and made a bunch of stuff. I've got a couple of things planned for this, but we'll uh, we'll go over that here in a bit. For now, I'm just going to take out that little bit of the wall, so this way I can just go ahead and get back here and kind of prep up this area just a little bit. So what I am thinking is I'm going to put some hoppers there and there, and I'm going to have a uh, well, basically I'm going to have a water vader that's breaking all the drops up and over to here and i'm just going to have them drop off in here and then they're going to load up these chests and then be on their way so what i want to start with is figuring out where i want all of the drops to go so what i'm thinking is i'm just going to get all of them going on over to probably back here to this wall right here in the center go back a few blocks and then I'm going to lead it all the way up and over to that system and I'm going to go ahead and start getting the water put in right here because the water vader is just going to be super annoying so I'm going to get that done real quick all right so the system is put in place so if I go down here to the room and then I walk over here and I throw in like four of those oak planks you'll see that they go up and then when they get up there they should in theory fall into the hoppers 
which means that they should pop into one of these chests. Yeah, right here. So that tells you that it is working. It's very straightforward. It basically just shoots up from here and then it goes up into this little chamber right here where it gets pushed over into this hopper right here. I didn't mean to place this block here. Don't think that's going to restrict it at all. I think it's all flowing in the right direction, so it's not going to be a problem. Hopefully, if it is, that's an easy fix. But that means we can go on ahead and start actually getting the sugarcane itself put in here. So what I am thinking is I'm going to start with the farms themselves being one block off the ground just so they can start flowing all the way over here. I don't know. It's going to take some planning. I'm going to go on ahead and get some going. Okay, so I have finished digging out this room and I actually ended up getting pretty much all of it put together, but I'm going to show you how it works and everything. So before I show you, I just want to go on ahead and say that this is not going to be the most efficient farm in the world. Okay, this is just going to be enough to get me by. This will probably be more than enough for a single player world. So that I'm, you know, I'm not really too worried about it, but I did get it all finished up, and again, this is very, very ugly. I have got no intent on decorating this room whatsoever. I'm going to be blunt about that right now. I've got no intent on fixing up this room and making it look pretty. I might end up coming down here and doing it at some point. Very highly doubt I will. We'll just see how bored I get one day. But basically what happens is these sugar canes will grow up, and when they grow up in front of the observer, the observer detects it, and then it powers the pistons, and then these pistons all fire off and then they push them into the water stream here that runs all the way down into that water stream which then runs all the way over here and around this corner and up that water vader and leads into that chest up here that's really all that it is and i've set these up as doubles so on this side and on this side they're both connected if this side grows up then it fires off on both sides meaning that all of them that have grown up even slightly should break and it shouldn't be an issue from there. The only downside to this is that those dirt blocks, they will sometimes catch some of the sugar cane that's uh, being dropped here. And while that's not ideal, it's just going to have to be okay for the time being. I did tinker with the room a little bit, tried uh, using some mud down there, and I was originally going to connect up a line of hoppers underneath mud blocks down there and lead it all the way over here to this other wall. You can even see behind this cobblestone wall here that I dug out a little room and I set up an auto dropper and everything, but I just, I could not get it to link up the way I wanted it to with it being efficient or anything. So unfortunately this farm is just, it's going to have a few losses. That's just, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. So nothing has grown up yet, but as you can see here, if I grow it up here, fires off it goes and then on down that way it goes and then it goes all the way down here and then up there and then it'll feed into the chest up there so if i leave this room and go up here it should be in here by now yeah right here and there's some of the materials that i've dropped and that's really all there is to it so i am glad to have this finally done and working i am uh I, I keep looking at it thinking I need to decorate this room. Who knows, maybe I'll come back and decorate it. Right now, it's not a priority. I wanna get the rest of the build up there decorated because I, you know, I've been putting that off for two episodes now. So I am gonna go ahead and get up here and start decorating the rest of this and getting my chest monsters cleaned up. Oh, which reminds me, I've got one chest down there that's got most of my redstone in it right now. I need to get that up as well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up and then I'm going to get this uh, room down here decorated. And while I'm getting this decorated, I'm going to start figuring out what I want to do up there. And hopefully I can start getting enough sugar cane and everything for, well, all the bookshelves that I want to put inside of this build. Because, well, this is supposed to be a library, so I am going to need the bookshelves. Anyway, I'm just going to go on ahead and start getting that and I'm going to stop rambling. Okay, so I have spent some time in here getting the interior put in. And I've spent a night AFK here to get some more sugar cane built up because, well, I used quite a bit of it for some of the decorations in here. But yeah, I'm pretty much done with it. And before we go in here, I just want to say I did not do the top floor up here whatsoever. That is partly due to laziness. And then the other part of it is just due to lack of inspiration. I was trying not to force myself into building that out. But if I uh, have time, I will come back and try to do it maybe in between episodes or something. 
again interiors are kind of no bueno for leno so i'm still trying to figure it all out i am getting more comfortable with them but they're still not my strong point so anyway i did get them done and i am going to start in here with the actual enchantment setup and so over here, I basically just left all of this the same. I just added in some greenery in here. I added an anvil and a grindstone here. And then I moved all of my junk over here up to this chest here. And while I'm here, I also just enchanted my ax. So now I've got efficiency four, unbreaking three, and silk touch on that, which is great. And probably in between episodes, I'm gonna spend more time getting levels and trying to get the rest of my gear enchanted. And by the rest of my gear, I mean my leggings and I mean my shovel because I kind of need those done. And then I could use some better enchantments on pretty much everything else, but for now, I, I think what I've got is great. So no complaints, but uh, yeah. So aside from that, this is pretty much it for this area. I did texture the ceiling and the floor by adding in the, uh, the stripped logs just because the, the floor and the ceiling was really, really boring. So I figured why not? I also used some of these new paintings throughout the build. And by the way, I am really, really liking some of these new paintings. I only used these one by twos, but uh, yeah, like this one here, I'm a very big fan of it. And I got just a wall of bookshelves here and then just kind of texture that with some of the chiseled bookshelves, which is honestly something that I keep forgetting we have now. But yeah, so I've kind of did that and I really like what I've got going over here. Then there's just some tables, a little bit of carpet, nothing too crazy, not anything too fancy, but it does kind of fit out the room a little bit, and I'm quite happy with it, if I'm being honest with you, so no complaints for me. But other than that, there is one other thing, and that is right down here. I need to add some lights around here. This is a little dark, but um, yeah, so right on down here. Yep, there we go. And down here, I've pretty much got it all set up kind of like a wine cellar, but... I didn't really know what I was doing. I basically got this area right here, which makes it look more like a wine cellar in my opinion. And then I just got a bunch of tables and flowers and little things scattered throughout, like another anvil, this uh, stone cutter, then more paintings, more lights, things like that. I've even got more storage up here. Should I need it? I don't anticipate needing that much storage if I'm being completely honest with you, but it is what it is. Then there's another little rug right here and then textured the floor as well. And I forgot to light up this area and texture this wall but whatever so right here actually i uh i had this pulled in by another block just like i did the rest of these i guess but i had to kind of push this area back just a little bit just to make it easier for me to kind of maneuver around downstairs because where i had the the pathway down there was just no bueno indeed it was a very big pain which also reminds me i you know i said i wasn't going to decorate and i didn't really decorate but I did add more lighting down here. I made the space a little bit clearer to see, and I added in the uh, the tough all the way around, and then, you know, added in a ceiling and everything. Just make it look a little bit more presentable, but not anything too crazy. And you can hear that that farm just worked, so you can see the sugar can go in here, goes up this, uh, this water vader here, and into the chest upstairs, which is exactly what we are looking for. But yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I didn't do anything fancy down here, but it does look better at the very least. Most of the time with these farms, I want to make them look presentable, but I just don't have the time to dig this whole room out the way I would like to or anything like that. And honestly, I don't anticipate seeing it very often. I don't anticipate you guys seeing it very often. But yeah, so I did do that much, and that's pretty much all of the interior work that I've done. And then I've got just a bunch of sugarcane here from where I have AFK'd overnight, so... I do have quite a bit of a backlog for the future, but other than that, I think that is just about it. It is nighttime. Let me sleep this night away real quick. And with that, I think that just about does it for today's episode. I think I am pretty much done over here for the next episode or two because quite frankly, I just, I need a little break from this area. And I'm thinking I really want to go and explore a trial chamber, hopefully in the next episode or two. So that's something to look forward to. But other than that, I think we're done here for today. Those pillagers are still out here. What the heck are they doing? They've been out here for the, the greater part of like 45 minutes now. But yeah, I'm getting distracted. Outro time. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and all that jazz. My name is Lane, and I will catch you guys in the next video.